Hello, everyone, and we're going to go for crypto predictions. We have 10 coins that I'm personally interested in. And of course, I think some of you know what these are, but others do not. So predictions at the top of the bull run. Solana, I think the top of the bull run will either be end of this year, early next year anyways. I think Solana can get to about $600. Um, I'm more bullish on Solana now. I'm still not ready to endorse that $1,000 dream, but I think that $600 is definitely in the cards. It was $250 last time. It's about you know 80 bucks now. Solana, I think, will pass its all-time high because people are really coming on to Solana, even if it's via the Saga, coin, uh, Saga phones and via the meme coins. They're really looking at it because they are attracting new visitors, uh, new users with the ROI, and they're attracting some people away from the Ethereum ecosystem because they're faster and more efficient than Ethereum for actual use. Their stablecoin volume has actually hit an all-time high as well. $600 may not sound like a huge ROI from where it is right now, but the market cap would actually be really big for Solana at that point. And I believe it will go quite a ways into gaining on Ethereum. I do not believe it'll actually overtake Ethereum this bull run. I think they're still too far apart, but maybe during the next bear market or in the next bull run, it can flip Ethereum. Something needs to flip Ethereum because I don't think Ethereum's ever really going to fix all their problems and Solana could be the one to do it. I know you're concerned about their DDoS attacks and the network going down. I think they've mostly solved that issue uh, by implementing a small fee um, in their transactions and it's very hard to DDoS something if they have a small fee. So $600 is where I'm comfortable with Solana. Cardano $6. Um, I think um, realistically like about twice its all-time high. I really like where Cardano is going. I think they're going to finally adopt USDC. I know they're getting USDM sometime in March if they don't delay it, and I really hope they don't. But USDM, like I've said before, I don't think quite has the liquidity of USDC, and you need a big stable coin like USDC if you're really going to make it big time. That's why I advocate Charles and Cardano Foundation actually paying USDC for their liquidity. You can use both use you can both use USDM and USDC, and that will actually give USDM perhaps another pair. But you need massive liquidity for Cardano in a very, very fast way. And I don't think a new stablecoin will give you that because it won't have the supply. Whereas an older stablecoin uh, like USDC with a lot of supply and a lot of liquidity will fit that bill really well. And as, as long as they get USDC sometime this year, I believe they can run up a lot. It, it depends on their DeFi development, which is why USDC is very much critically important for what we're actually doing right here. Chainlink, uh, I believe $120 is what I'm looking for for uh, Chainlink. The CCIP does actually have me excited. They're also trying to build the ecosystem. They're expanding their staking. And although like Chainlink does not have really DeFi of its own, it is going to be used to ping the price for many DeFi's and also like they have that partnership with Swift and other businesses. So I think Chainlink is actually going to do extremely well. Um, in the bull run. 120 might actually be underselling. I've been hearing some rumors from really big plans from a lot of big companies, but those are just rumors. And until I have them more solidified, um, I'm gonna have to go with about 120 bucks. It's up from 100 bucks, so I've upgraded it a little bit. And I think that's like really good ROI for Chainlink. It's already like a top 15 coin. So I think like upside in terms of like more than 10X is a little bit limited in this bull run, but I do really like Chainlink. ICP, Insane Clown Posse, your internet computer, I'm putting at $100. I've been sticking with this price for a very long time, and I'm going to continue to stick with this price. Uh, I, the canister technology is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people have really big hopes for ICP. Obviously, it's very fast. It can do a lot of the things that the other chain does. It just has to get more usage right now, get more dApps uh, programmed on it. And I do believe that that's actually in the works. They are actually focusing a little bit on that, which I really like. They probably have some industrial utility as well. And a lot of people do believe it's internet 3.0. I'm not really willing to go that far. I think that's like a little bit over exaggeration. But a hundred bucks, um, you know, it's like, pretty much 10 times where it is right now. I think ICP, the uh, the part that got a lot of people uh, had a bad taste is that they debuted like just way too high. 
and there's no reason they should have debuted that high. They should not have debuted in the top 10. Uh, could they be a top 10 coin in the future? Yes, but everything's going to be going up. And it's not really going to be like speed or anything. It's really going to be adoption and how much traction you can get on your coin in this bull run. That's really going to make or break things. So ICP, I think like at $100, um, I think that'll be pretty successful and it can just build on that in the next bull run. I think ICP, um, you know, like... I think really in the next bear market, they can really make, really make a splash. I'm not really sure if they're, the technology I think is ready, but as for the adoption competing with like uh, other competition, not really sure how much they're going to do uh, this time around, but $100 will be a very successful bull run for ICP. VET, 50 cents to a dollar. Um, I've soured a little bit on VET, and that's mainly because they keep on, like, they're really into their industrial utility, which is cool, but they're not focusing on the DeFi. VET's DeFi has only a couple of DeFi protocols, and very few people use them. There's very little um, volume on the DeFi protocols. They really need to hit it hard. I don't care if it's with VEX, VRocket, or whatever. They really need to hit the ground hard running on the um, DeFi to make it worth it to us as investors. Not so much like for the foundation, because you gotta understand the foundation might be getting paid from these big companies using their software, but that doesn't actually benefit us as the investors. And um, we need to see something for VET with its DeFi to actually like soothe our hearts. Like the DeFi, the lock-in, the value, that's what's gonna bring value to the chain in this bull run. And I wanna see that for VET. Like they need to allocate more of their resources for to attract developers to actually lock in money, to attract more DeFi. Because VET has a very capable smart contract system. The technology is there, but you gotta get people to use it. And I know like, you know, people in VET are very, you know, excited about transactions and like tracking stuff that's all good and great and that might provide a base but that's not gonna what that's not what's gonna pump the value of the coin up the coinbase liquidity will definitely help and i think the coinbase liquidity will actually help build the DeFi. but you got to attract people you got to have incentives and i think mo mo a lot of the like funds or something should actually go towards that during the bull run so right now like i don't know about the direction of the foundation if it aligns with my interest or um the interests of the investors more as the interest of the organization and those could be two very very different things so i'm still thinking 50 cents cents to a dollar because there's more on there's a bigger on ramp now to the us than there was before uh coinbase is way bigger than binance.us ever was and i think there'll be more people that can actually buy into vet imx my favorite gaming coin 20 bucks um you know gods unchained i've explained this before it's a pretty popular game uh for imx and they're developing more games I think like they're going to develop mobile. They're going to develop like you know desktop as well. They've partnered with I believe like I think it was like I don't know I think it was like uh, the Ubisoft or something. And they're actually making like really good stuff there. So of the gaming coins, they're my favorite. They're also the biggest one, and they are an Ethereum layer too. They are pretty fast, so I think that'll attract some people as well. You can also go for like G Fall and Nakamoto games. But IMX, I'm going to peg at 20 bucks. I think they have a lot of room to grow. It could be much bigger than 20 bucks if they get like a kick-ass game out and it gets really popular. But I think like 20 bucks is pretty safe. INJ at 300. INJ was really, really hard to peg uh, because it recently hit an all-time high and we haven't even gotten into the parabolic stage yet. There's a lot of people excited about Injective. You know, it's been trending on a couple of sites and the technology and like the commits and everything, they're actually there. Um, the adoption of the TVL grows, I believe INJ can grow really big. Near is kind of same as INJ. I have it pegged at $40. Um, that's about... I think like 10, 20 times where it is right now. Near, I know like they're starting to release things. Um, things are getting exciting on Near. Uh, the number of commits, the number of like DeFi projects, and just the number, like the overall money invested in Near, I think is going to come up very, very soon. So I do believe Near in the bull run will actually do very, very well. H bar, I think I'm still going for a dollar. I know some people are higher, some people are actually lower. Um, H bar's technology is pretty good. Yeah, they're not really decentralized, but so are a lot of these projects not really decentralized, but they're very fast, they're very efficient. They did have like one hiccup on their network. They have AVNS and they're running like a thousand TPS right now on their network. And I think all of that uh, just shows that how developed the ecosystem actually is, how developed the technology is, and realistically for H bar, like I think a dollar is not too far off. I think they're like seven, eight cents right now, maybe a little less th through this dip. But once the, um, 
market really goes up. I do believe HBAR will go with it. They have a lot of big names on their council, and I think they'll help HBAR actually promote the coin as well. So like HBAR by itself, um, a dollar I think is a safe place to go, and I think it'll be a very worthwhile investment if you invested uh, you know, towards the lows. I think like a lot of people got in around five cents, 20X, not bad for a bull run at all. SEI, this has been talked about a lot. I've said this before, like I think SEI is pretty cool. Um, it might be really fast right now, and I think they tested and it was really fast, but they still have to get more traction, more people to actually use it. It has developmental tools, um, and there's been a lot of hype for it. I think it's been a little bit overhyped recently. It's gone up a lot in price, but it's only 1.3 billion market cap at the time of this video. That means it does actually have time to actually go up. It like you know like it's a my prediction of this would be either like five dollars or ten dollars. Five dollars being the lower side, ten dollars being the higher side. It could go higher than ten, you know, if the ecosystem really blows up. But I think it would have to have a lot to, for it to get over ten dollars. It's not that it's impossible because it's only one point three three billion market cap right now, and twenty x would only be twenty billion, and twenty billion probably. I don't even know if it would make it in the top 20 this bull run. And I think SEI is something to get up there. So maybe I'm underselling the potential right now, but I still think $10 would actually be a really, really good bull run for SEI. So that's those are my predictions for the coins. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. I will see you guys later.